Hi students, Dr. Katie Burnett, and I'm going to show you how to use the spectrophotometer to measure the concentration of the DNA in your samples. So here I've opened the program. So I'm using a laptop, and the spectrophotometer is the little machine to my left. So first I need to add a blank to have a background measurement. So I'm taking one microliter of the resuspension buffer and carefully putting it on the pedestal. Closing the lid, and that's my spectrophotometer. It's going to look at how light passes through my sample. So right now it's taking a reading. And whatever, uh, however the light changes going through just that blank, which is uh, just the resuspension buffer, it'll subtract that from all of my readings so that they're accurate. All right, clean off the pedestal. Time for sample number one. So I've typed in the sample name, new pipette tip, and I'm going to put one microliter on that same tiny pedestal. Gently close the lid and tell it to measure. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like on the screen when I see my results. So I have a graph that's showing uh, absorbance, the wavelength on the x-axis, and how much on the y-axis, the height of the peak is the maximum absorbance. It used that to tell me my concentration. Sorry that was a little fast, but I'll show you on the next one. So next sample. Again, right onto the pedestal. I'll tell it to take a measurement. And here, the green box it says concentration 1089.9. That's my concentration of DNA in micrograms per microliter. Sorry, nanograms per microliter. And here I am with my third sample. Let's see how well I did on this one. Ooh, that's a really short peak. Not a lot of DNA in this sample. Uh, looks like the concentration is rather low. I'll show you at the end. There's a spreadsheet. But let's just let you know. Shorter peak means that very little uh, light is being absorbed. That means there's not a lot of nucleic acids in that particular sample. Last one. Okay, 1,466.2 nanograms per microliter in Nippon Bari. Nippon Bari is the reference strain. We have lots of reference DNA for your PCR reactions for later. So, get my data. Looks like we have everything we'll need. And your instructors will talk to you more about how spectrophotometry works during your lecture. Mm -hmm.